This is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Traffic nightmare, the 15 freeway northbound to Vegas closed near Baker nearly 36 hours after a truck carrying hazardous materials catches fire. Welcome to KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Gio Insignares. And I'm Jasmine Veal. We are also streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. The accident causing major traffic issues. The northbound 15 shut down. The southbound lanes are still open. Man, oh man, you can also see the long alternate route. That's the 40. It's all red as well. CHP says the situation is still volatile. They are having to redirect all traffic. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen live in Hesperia with the latest. And Lauren, I am sure you found many frustrated drivers. Absolutely, Jasmine. You know, everyone's used to traffic here in SoCal, but nothing quite like this. Now, I don't want to uh, give you the impression at home that everything is fine, what you're seeing behind us here. We're in Hesperia, and right now, yeah, traffic looks great, and both sides are moving. But just further north from here, it's not like this at all. Thousands of drivers on their way to Las Vegas are stranded. Others just turned around and went home. This says crews are dealing with a very serious hazmat situation. Traffic at a standstill, uh, moving. A miles long backup on northbound I-15 after a tanker truck carrying lithium ion batteries overturned, leaked fuel and caught fire. It happened around 6 a.m. Friday morning, creating gridlock that continued more than 24 hours later. Mario Chacon Jr. is one of the thousands of drivers who was stuck. He was heading to Las Vegas for a party and wedding. CHP was just directing us to go back go 15 south and if anything try to get to the 40 freeway and we realized that the traffic was just getting worse and worse and obviously it's 104 degrees out there both sides of the interstate near baker were initially shut down because of the dangerous hazmat situation you can see folks just driving on the opposite side of the freeway on the 15 and it was just, it was terrifying in a second if you were that person that would get out and suddenly a car comes and hits you. Um, but people were there waiting for hours. The fires are always dangerous and adding lithium ion batteries into the mix makes them even more so. It's pretty serious. Uh, these uh, lithium ion batteries uh, pack a lot of energy. So uh, the question becomes trying to control the fire spread. Professor Ibrahim of mechanical engineering at the University of Southern California says energy from the batteries can be endless fuel for the fire. Trying to put out the fire completely in many cases is not quite successful. They, they cool it down, the flames go away and then it starts sparking again and reigniting. San Bernardino County Fire Department says crews are working to remove the container from the road that weighs more than 75,000 pounds. They're using heavy equipment from the County Fire Special Operation Division, but so far have been unsuccessful. As they work to clear the roadway, drivers are left with few options. We're probably just gonna head back home and do a Zoom meeting for the wedding and birthday parties. And within the last 10 minutes, I spoke with CHP and they told me that the driver of that tanker truck actually had no injuries at all. I asked again if they can pinpoint any type of timeline and they said right now, no, everything is very fluid. In fact, they're actually bringing in equipment, that heavy um, equipment to move that container is coming in from Las Vegas. But everything right now, um, it's just a really dangerous situation up there oh, with a, a, the hazmat situation. And of course, the cause of this fire is uh, all under investigation. Reporting live in Hesperia, Lauren Posen.